Hi everyone, I'm Sergeant Big Bong and welcome to Call of Duty Mobile. Now in today's video I'm going to cover all of the settings that I have changed and adjusted for this game. I'm going to be quite thorough and so I'm just going to show you the actual raw settings that I have. Uh, I'll do this for both emulator and for the game. So let's kind of get straight into this, shall we? Uh, let's open the settings. And so the first one we have for controls. Personally, I use this one, which is the advanced mode and the hip fire. I don't remember what that is. This is the one that I use. It's the one that's most normal to me. And it's the same settings that you'd have for CSGO or Valorant on default. That kind of a thing. Uh, I do the same for Battle Royale and for Zombies. Now let's move on to basics. So this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, as you can see. So uh, aim assist on, because you might as well have it as well. Uh, fast grenades. I'm going to kind of just not necessarily speak of everything here and just kind of show you so you can copy if you want to because I think it would be a long video if I talked behind everything um, so feel free to pause it at any point if you need to copy any of these settings I think for the most part a lot of these have just been a uh, bit meh, a bit useless um, so here we go I think open performance while ADS, gun kick scale uh, it looks like I haven't really changed this, maybe other than these, so I can show you that there. Um, damage number, I choose off because I don't like it, that's kind of personal preference though. I see that a lot of people are tap and hold people, so hey, each to their own. Uh, this, whoopsie doopsie, nearly changed the setting there. There you go, always sprint is, is off for me. Camera FOV, I like to chuck that to the to absolute max. Uh, same for both of them. Now here we actually have a few settings that I've customized particularly for myself. So this is having like overall low opacity and small icons. So this is kind of what they look like in game. Um, if you're someone who needs to kind of really see where you're going, maybe you want to change these a little bit higher. But I like this because it gives a very clean POV. So just something to bear in mind. Likewise for the, the scale and the settings here. Uh, yeah, that's also kind of personal preference. You might want to play around with that one in particular, just each for your own. Um, map zoom, try to zoom that out as much as you can, in my opinion. That way you see more of the map and you can get more of the info. Uh, let's go on to audio and graphics, shall we? Um, ooh, actually, there is BR and zombies. Hey, if you want to see the BR settings and the zombie settings, just let me know. Um, uh, so let's go for graphics. I have this on very high and frame rate also on ultra. Now, frame rate, look, chuck that up all the way. I've made videos just on that. Look, you want <laughs> you want to maximize that. Now, frame rate adjustment, enable a maximum frame rate. I have that on off, but you can also turn that on on and just chuck it as much as you can. I, in my opinion, you just always want to maximize frame rates. You don't want to limit yourself. So, yeah, I feel like that's a bit odd. And hey, if you need to lower your graphical quality, I've got a very good PC, so I can do it on very high, but that's each to their own. Yeah, I personally use use dynamic but that's kind of each to their own I found that this one does give very good uh, I do find that this one is very competitive because as you can see in here in the little picture here you can hide in shadows a little bit easier on on this setting where in this one it's it's very easy to see your opponents um, okay looks like we are gonna cover a little bit of battle royale settings here although I'm just gonna just gonna gloss over them a little bit there we go this is some more multiplayer stuff real-time shadows I have on but that's because I kind of like it. I think if you just want to... Oh, actually, there are times where I've been able to see shadows and because of that, know where enemies are. So I actually do advise keeping that on. Uh, Ragdoll, hey, look, if you've got a, a PC that doesn't perform very well, always turn that off. I've I've put mine on off as well, but you don't really need to. Zombies, yeah, that's, that's personal preference as well. Start shaders preload. If you are suffering from some issues, you actually can do this... Um, I haven't been, so I haven't necessarily needed to do this much myself, but each to their own. Uh, when it comes to settings, let's go for this, shall we? So, I'm just going to scroll past a lot of these. You can take a look at anything. I think a lot of these are going to be on default stuff, but feel free to copy any of these if you need to. Uh, also, when it comes to things like sensitivity, you can also change them up here in your game loop tab. So, if you go here to... Uh, it's not under tool set. It is under this one. Yeah, oopsie doopsie. There you go. Oop. Oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> there you go. Keyboard, uh, mouse sensitivity down here. So, you can also change it there. Uh, let's continue going through these, shall we? So, I'm just going to keep scrolling past a lot of these. I... 
I'm pretty sure a lot of these are preset. A lot of these are, are default. So just bear that in mind. Uh, do we have some BR settings? Like I said, if you do want me to cover those, I can. And I'll probably include vehicle settings as well. But I think... Hmm, how small is this? Oh, there you go. Okay, so if you really want to pause that and copy some of that, you can. Uh, if you do play on controller, there you go. You've got your settings here. Uh, and there you go. I think that does cover basically the vast majority of all of the settings. So feel free to just copy and paste any of those. And if you are suffering from any technical issues when it comes to the game or the emulator, please do check out the channel and maybe even look in the comments section. I'll try my best to reply to any comments and, and see if there's any way I can help. Uh, if you do want to actually install an emulator and play this on your PC, I can leave a link to that down in the description for you. I've got a, uh, I've got a video up on my channel about how you can go about doing that. Uh, anywho, I hope you have a good one. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna talk to girls. I like guys. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>